Now this is pod racing. What's up everyone? Super Miko here today and today I'm reviewing Anakin's Pod Racer 20th Anniversary Edition, which of course is the 20th anniversary edition of Anakin's Pod Racer. I think that this is a really cool set. I only have two problems with the actual set, but one problem I want to address with like just Lego Star Wars sets as a whole is that this set right here like I said, great set. Amazing. But you see, it's a pod racer. And it has nothing to race. It like They don't have any other pod racers out at this time. The last time they had a pod racer was like 2015. So we need more pod racers so this thing can actually race. But putting that aside, let's just take a look at the actual set. So the first figure to include in the set is, of course, Anakin. He has this helmet here, which has the goggles, and they go up and down like that. And personally, I think it looks a little bit strange with the goggles, because his eyes are really close together. And the goggles are kind of not close together, so it's a little weird. I prefer to have it up like that. And I do want to point out, actually, I guess there's three flaws with this set. And the first one... They don't give you hair to put on Anakin, and, like, the the hair piece that they use for young Anakin is, like, really rare. I don't even know what sets it comes in, but it hasn't c come in any sets recently, so I guess he just has to wear this, which really bothers me. But other than that, he has this other face here, which I guess is more serious or focused. And he has some nice printing on the torso, both the both sides very nice the other figure that's in like the set part of the set is Padme of course um she is the opposite problem with An of Anakin because her hair is actually really good so I guess it's really not a problem at all but I actually really like this hair piece I don't think that this is a great face for her though I think this is the same face that characters like Black Widow have I really don't think that's a good face for Padme I mean, it's okay, but the angry one I really just don't think is that great for, like, this set specifically. But she has a really nice torso print. It's, like, really detailed. And I guess I should take the hair off again so you can see how that looks on the back. Really nice torso. And a blaster. And she has mid-legs. The mid-legs, I think, are an interesting choice. I'm really not sure if she really needs mid-legs, but... I'll take mid-legs where I can get him, because I just love mid-legs, and I don't have any in plain black, so that's cool to get, but I really am not sure it fits with the figure. The only other figure in this set is the 20th anniversary Luke Skywalker, which brings me to one of the bigger problems I have with this set, and it's the fact that it didn't include a pit droid. Like, the original version of this set did have a pit droid, and I think it was kind of a cool build, so I wish they would have included that, but anyway, the Luke figure, very nice. This head here is probably similar to the one that came in the book with um his, like, Tatooine outfit, which I do have. I think it fits with the uh, collection of 20th anniversary figures nicely, except they, it doesn't have the 20 years Lego Star Wars on the back, but... Anyway, very nice looking figure here, very classic looking design. My favorite part's probably this helmet print, because I just really love the simplicity of it. And he, of course, is equipped with a lightsaber. Not a chrome handle, which I understand why they wouldn't go back to that, but just a very cool figure. Luke Skywalker, of course, comes with this 20th anniversary stand, like all the figures do. I like how they print the name on there too, and instead of just printing the logo, so they had to, they could use the same print every time. Glad they didn't cheap out like that. Pretty cool stand. This is here to connect it to other ones, which I have none of. I should also mention that Anakin is equipped with a wrench, but there's nowhere to go with it if he's sitting in the pod racer, which is kind of annoying. So for the actual pod racer itself, I think I'm gonna have to take my camera off the stand there. And we'll start up here with the the uh, engine portion, which this brings me really well into my main complaint with the set, and that's that there's 14 stickers in this set. And I know that, like, st stickers are, like, 
you know, they need them because prints would be really expensive to do all the time. I understand why they have them. But when you have the same sticker six times, you think you could at least print that one. Like, some of the other ones in the back, they were still annoying to put on, but they're more understandable. I feel like this at least should have been a print, at least that one. But I do think that I did decently well with those stickers, but I'm never happy with the way I put on stickers, pretty much. The engines themselves are really nice, though. They have all this really cool detailing, very nice looking. There's, like, these blades here on the bottom. I'll pick this up so you can see the bottom of one. Very, very nice. And, of course, the uh, these things open up like this. I honestly don't know if this happened in the movie. I don't remember. But it is on the box. And that box, by the way... Really cool because they recreated the original box for the original set of Anakin's Pod Racer, which I don't think most of the R1s actually did that, so I think that's cool with this box specifically. But yeah, the engines open like that. They're almost identical except for the hooks to hold the pink lightning are different so they can be in different angles, which this pink lightning is first of all a really awesome piece like that's just really cool and it works really well I'm just kind of disappointed that's not touching it gets really close but it doesn't and that's kind of disappointing but I don't really care that much so then held together by this clear thing is the I guess this is the cockpit but before we get to that I want to talk about this clear thing this is much better than what they used to use because they used to use tan pieces that was horrible and I think that this works really well I think that the handle should have been clear too though ideally all of these pieces like these tan ones the black ones those tan ones those gray ones ideally those would all be clear and then it would look like even better hopefully in the future when we get probably another Anakin's pod racer and still not any of the other ones that it'll be all clear but I still think that this works really well, and the handle helps to just swoosh it around. Which, you know, could be a lot of fun if it had someone to race against. But over here to the cockpit, oh, and I should mention these also. Don't actually do anything to hold the thing together, just make it look cool, which it does. And the cockpit was another um sticker um torture session. Especially this piece with three stickers on one piece there, which, again, I understand that they had to do that, and it was just really annoying to line up the gray here with the gray there and the gray on the other side, but I did my best. Overall, I think it turned out really well. I love the shape of this cockpit, especially this part up front here, like the way that they have these move up like that. Really nice, and if I take Anakin out of here, which I can... Hopefully do with one hand. There we go. You can see he has a seat which is just red. And then he has these two control sticks which he can't actually hold. But you can make it look like he's holding them like pretty well. So that's not really a big deal. Overall, just a really nice look. And pod races are one of my favorite vehicles in Star Wars. So I really love this. So other than a few minor problems, Anakin's pod racer really is just such a great set. Not the most fun build because the stickers and also there's some Technic stuff and I'm not a big fan of that either. But it's one of the best display pieces like ever in my opinion. It looks really nice and it's also good for playing, which it would be better for playing if you know you had one to race it with. Still not going to let that go. And the 20th anniversary figure is really nice. Doesn't really match the uh set itself it would have been cool if they got 20th anniversary figures that actually match the sets but um they didn't so i guess that's fine though still a really nice figure and overall just a great set so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in another one